What's going on, shady people? Shady Penguin here, welcoming you back to another episode of Explorers of the Sky. Today, we need to go find Torkoal, and I'm hoping that the map will tell us where we gotta go. Waterfall Cave, right there, that's where we gotta go. We gotta get to the hot spring, which means we gotta travel through Waterfall Cave, because we're looking for the hidden land, the secret place, Waterfall Cave, B1F. Hopefully these guys are still really weak, which they are, oh, that's great. Okay, so this is gonna be a cakewalk. This is a super cakewalk. That is what I like to see. I love cake. I love walking. Uh, so having a cakewalk is probably one of the... Oh, no, I don't want to switch places because you know what? I'm just tired. I'm just real tired, man. And my throat is not killing me, <clears throat> but it has definitely felt better in the past, for sure. I don't know what I can do to prevent me, well, I know what I do to get prevent me from getting sick. I drink Airborne. I, I put I put a tablet in the water, I let it dissolve, and we're good to go. Unfortunately, I don't have any Airborne right now. I don't have any gas in my car. Are you really gonna tackle Trevor? What, how does my tackle do nothing? Or did I just hit A? I might've just hit A. Ah, oh, the stairs. <clears throat> I wonder how many floors there are here. I'm hoping there's not many. I'm really hoping there's not many. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I see a big item. Oh, it's just a pebble. A pebble. Oh, that thunder sounds so glorious. Thunder sounds glorious. Oh, yes. I wonder if that means it. Oh, there's the stairs. I was supposed to go to B's with Drew. I don't know, uh, with Nips. I don't know if that's going to happen. I don't even have gas in my car, so. Nips would need to drive. I don't know if he wants to drive in the rain. <clears throat> and we have to stop at the gate because he doesn't have a sticker. It's a whole big to do. It really is a whole big to do. We're gonna body. I'm sorry, sir. Skip. You really don't deserve that at all. You did nothing to deserve that. I love how I can walk on the water and Trevor follows me as long as it's the right way. As long as there's a path for him to walk, he will walk and follow me. Ah, yes, we can do this before that Tangela gets on our behind. All right, we're on, we're on the sixth floor, man. How much how much more how much more do we need to go? This music is really relaxing. I think it's my favorite part about the mystery dungeon game, <clears throat> easily, is my is the music. The music is my favorite part. Uh, I haven't really gotten too attached. Uh, maybe it's because the the time span that I've been playing the game, or because it's not exactly my favorite gameplay. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, I do did get really attached. I got pretty emotional actually once we once they revealed that Grovile uh, and Squirtle were partners. You're gonna lava plume a Poliwag. Trevor has literally no chill. That's why he's a fire Pokemon. No chill whatsoever. All right, and we're gonna just crit this Barboach too. That's fine. Totally fine. It's fine. It's fine. Whooper, you're gonna spit in my face. I'm gonna tackle you to the ground and call you Sally. Where do we have to go to find these stairs? Oh my goodness. At least we're finding some decent items. We got a max elixir. Wow, that was a that was a pretty uh pretty secluded staircase, to say the least. Pretty secluded. Oh, but we got some money and some stairs. I like to count my dollars as I walk downstairs. Oh my gosh, and I love to grab my stun seeds as I walk downstairs too. That's just great. We're good to go. Hot spring, we made it. Wait, do I have to walk around in here? Oh, I do have to walk around in here. The hot spring here is good for loosening up knotted muscles. The way I keep my arms raised all the time, it does a number on my shoulders. I'm lucky the hot spring exists. I'm usually hot headed, but when I come here, I come right down. Oh, oh my young friends. I'm the monster when you're exhausted. Oh, not so, I see. So you seek my wisdom. Well, there's no better place than this to share your story. I changed this voice. Oh, I see. The Hidden Land, you say? I have heard of it. Oh, really? The Hidden Land is truly a place of legend. It is a tattered lore at best, handed down by oral tradition. No matter, please tell us! Of course. I can tell you only what I've heard. The Hidden Land lies beyond the sea in a place hidden, so the story goes. A hidden place? Yes, the Hidden Land only allows only the Chosen to find it. To go there, one must possess certain qualities. Oh, a place that only someone with proper qualifications can go to. Okay, Torkoal, uh, what are those qualifications? They are... Uh, 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 now, what were they? 
Uh, I'm sorry, it slipped my mind. Oh no, you've forgotten. Please, Torkoal, please remember. This is really important. Uh, that's easy for you to say, but uh, uh... Oh, that's it. You need proof. You need proof of some sort. Yes, that was it. Proof. Proof? What kind of proof? That would be... Uh, uh, I don't know why that's the noise he makes when he's thinking, but apparently it is. Forgive me, I've forgotten again. What? You can't remember? Uh, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Ah, uh, all right. Can you recall anything at all? No, that's all. Forgive me, youngsters. If I recall what proof you need, I'll be sure to let you know. Yes, please. Thank you, Torkoal. We should go back to the guild now, Shady. I'm Hay. So we got absolutely nothing out of that. Ah. So Torkoal couldn't provide us with any answers. That's too bad. Oh, that's not entirely true. We know that we need proof. And knowing that is a step forward, right? Hey, hey, we're searching too. Yeah, but we didn't find anything. But there's no giving up. We have to keep trying, my darling. I'll keep trying too. We should have dinner and rest up for the night. We'll resume our efforts tomorrow. Oh, well, thanks everyone. Choo Choo Munch Snuffle Slurp Crunch from Chew. Munch Slurp Crew Lassen. <laughs> Idiot. Ah, okay. It's nighttime again. Ah, we're not making as much progress as we'd hoped. When we talked with Torkoal, I started thinking we had hope. Hashtag bars, hash, hashtag bars, rhyming the same word with the same word. I wonder how Grovile is doing. Has he gathered his time gears? We need to hurry too. But there's no point in getting all flustered, especially when, especially since everyone is helping out. We should get some sleep, then start with fresh resolve tomorrow. Okay, Shady, good night. Good night, Trevor says. Up and at him, it's morning! Ah, good morning, Shady. Yes, I would like to save our budget. I'd like to save our budget. I'd like to save our game. I just got a text message from my business partner about the new business that we're opening, and he had mentioned the budget. <clears throat> so, in short, the hidden line remains shrouded in mystery, but we're not giving up. Hooray! Let's get out there and investigate again today. Let's go, everyone. Hooray! Ah, you two. Where should we go investigate today, Shady? But we've already talked to Torkoal. We're out of leads. Pokemon detected. Pokemon detected. Grovile, please. Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint belongs to Torkoal, the town elder. Torkoal! Ah! What? Torkoal's here? Uh, uh, finally, I caught up with you. <laughs> Climbing up to this guild is hard on these old bones. What brings you here, Torkoal? Did you maybe remember something? Indeed I did. But I've recalled only one more tiny thing, sorry to say. Yesterday, I contemplated the waters of the hot spring for a long time. Finally, one recollection surfaced. But it really is something small. I worry if it would be even worthwhile sharing with you. Not... I forgot his voice. Not a worry. Every little bit of information helps, however small. Please say it. Uh, when we spoke of travel to the hidden land yesterday... I said that you needed proof of your qualification to go there. I remembered a bit more about that proof. The proof bears an inscription of a certain pattern. It's going to be Trevor's little piece. A certain pattern. Hey, hey, so what kind of pattern would that be? Uh, how can I describe it? It's difficult to describe, but I can tell you that the pattern is quite intricate and odd. It's a peculiar pattern, the kind of pattern you rarely see. A pattern you rarely see, darling. You think I could... You think I could think of something? But trying to think of such a thing, it's not easy when one tries. Hmm, what could it be? The kind of pattern you rarely see. What could a pattern like that look like? Ah, uh, peculiar pattern. <gasps> Wait a second, a peculiar pattern? Trevor, your piece! So one day, I happened to come across my relic fragment. I admit that this looks like junk, but take a closer look. See, that inscription forms a strange pattern, doesn't it? It's true, that there is a strange inscription. I've never seen a pattern like this. That's it! The relic fragment was inscribed with a peculiar pattern! Hmm, what is it, Shady? <laughs> what, my relic fragment? Oh, right, the pattern! Excuse me, could you have a look at this? Oh, this is it! It's a pattern exactly like this! Watch! Where? Where did you get this? Well, I'm not sure if I can remember. I just happened to pick it up. You know, it's fabulous. It's from Assassin's Middle Man. We can go to the Quavon Hidden Land. 
That I wouldn't know. Maybe yes, maybe no. To go to the hidden land, one must surely possess that proof. But that doesn't necessarily mean that the bearer of the proof really possesses the qualifications to be chosen. That proof may be merely the physical key to enter the hidden land. Even before that, though, this shares the same inscribed pattern. There's no sure connection between this relic fragment and the hidden land. Oh, but... Why can't I keep losing? It's just my voice is going crazy, guys. I'm so sorry. There's no question that this pattern has something to do with the hidden land. Knowing only that is a lot. I suppose so. Wait. You do realize that the hidden land is only a spoken legend, right? You're surely not trying to find the hidden land. Yes, we are. My goodness, what a surprise. Chatot. This pattern. We've seen this somewhere, haven't we? What? Y yes. The sea inlet to the northwest. Rocks in inside Brian Cave. <clears throat> but Guildmaster, that place! Yes, I know. That vicious bandit was there. A vicious? Bad Everyone, please listen. I once saw the same pattern deep inside a place called Brian Cave. I think we can discover more by taking the relic fragment there. However, there is one problem. A Pokemon lurks there who is a vicious bandit. Crocodile? Hey, hey! We're not about to let that scare us. Are we explorers? We all need to be brave. Thanks, everyone. But that place is challenging. Everyone should take some time to get ready. We'll set off for Brian Cave tomorrow. Hooray! So this whole day was just us talking? Really? Ho, ho, ho. I thought that the Hidden Land was nothing more than folklore. Getting old has made me think my thinking so inflexible. That's very sad. This all makes me remember the days when I dreamt of romance and adventure. Help me see my dreams again. Do your best. Ho, ho, ho. Yes, you can count on us. Thank you, Torgul. Oh, it was nothing. Ho, ho, ho. All right, everyone. Spend the rest of the day getting ready. Okay, dismissed. Hooray! <clears throat> Look up, we're getting ready, my guy. Oh my gosh, this will be so exciting. Ho! All right, let's do it. Chetot, Chetot, you stay at the guild tomorrow on standby. Guildmaster, forgive me if I'm out of line, but please let me go to Brian Cave. Nope, I can't let you face danger like that ever again. But that's why, that's why I must go. Please take me to Brian Cave. Okay, that's what, then I want you to go with Team Shady Pokes tomorrow. Guide Shady's team to the place we saw the strange pattern, but I want you to be careful. Thank you, I won't let you down. Another thing, I have something I need to do, so I have to go out. You're in charge while I'm gone, as you wish. And there he goes, our Guildmaster. So that's where it stands. You two will be with me tomorrow. As such, Team Shady Pokes non-guild members may not come along. Brian Cave has a vicious foe lying in wait. You mustn't let your guard down. And don't do anything that keeps you from succeeding there. Uh, okay. Shady, let's go get ready. Let's go to Treasure Town. Okay, we're gonna go to Treasure Town, I guess. I just wanted to take a nap and uh, automatically start the next thing, but it looks like we're gonna go to Treasure Town. But not before we witness Torkoal. Oh, would it be young again? If I was younger, I'd certainly join the challenge to find the Hidden Land. Whoa, ho, ho, hey there, old timer. Who, who is it? Oh, come on. Cha, ha, ha. What is it? What do you guys want? Cha, ha, ha. Well, we're Team Skull. <laughs> do you have business with particularly tough skill, old timer? Whoa, ho, ho, I overheard you say something that sounded fun. Something about the Hidden Land, cha, ha, ha. I, I, I was only, huh? Someone's coming. Whoa, guild chumps! Old timer, why don't you take this chat somewhere we won't be disturbed? Cha ha! Hey! Uh, oh gosh! They're so rude, man. He's just an old timer. He's just a geezer. It's like pushing around a senior citizen. I didn't even go upstairs yet. They just sensed my presence when I wasn't even outside. Now we have to worry about Torkoal. Oh my goodness. I gotta worry about Torkoal. So we're supposed to go to Treasure Town now. So let's go to Treasure Town. Let's see if there's anything we're even supposed to do in here. I feel like there's not. I feel like we're just supposed to... We were just supposed to see that, I think. Huh. Oh, right, Shady. We should go over to the Sharpedo Bluff before we go back to the guild. Just in case Grovile's come back. Let's go check out the Sharpedo Bluff. Okay, is this where we go? This is. Okay. So, I, I was right. Is Grovile back, I wonder? Let's go. Let's see. Is he back? He's not. He left us a note. Grovile has penmanship! Grovile isn't here. Oh, hey, over there. There's a sheet of paper. There's something written on it. This is a letter from Grovile. It must be a message for us. I'll read it. Trevor began reading the letter from Grovile. <clears throat> 
to Shady and Trevor. How are you doing? How goes your search for the Hidden Land? Things are going well on my end. I've already collected three time gears. I have to find only two more. I plan to join you when I've collected all five. Plans have proceeded smoothly. Azelf and his friends understood the situation and they have fully cooperated. Azel told me that the members of your guild let them know I was coming. Thank you. It's heartening to know that more and more Pokemon are coming to trust us. However, I will continue to stay away from Treasure Town and the guild. First, I'm not certain if the Pokemon in this world will trust me entirely or not, but there's something more troubling than that. Dusnoir is liable is liable to return from the future at any time. Ah, oh, Dusnoir! Come to think of it, Dusnoir failed to get rid of us in the future. I wouldn't put it past him to chase us here, he still wants us gone. Okay, I'll keep reading. Since Dusnoir will be coming, we should keep a low profile. This is another reason I should stay away from Treasure Town and the Guild. I may in instead come back to the Sharpedo Bluff or the beach. If we should meet, we can then exchange information. Good luck on your end. Together, we shall stop the planet's paralysis. From Grove Isle. Okay, it sounds like Groval's hard at work. We'd better not fail on our end. According to the letter, Groval will show up either here or at the beach. If we go down to the beach, maybe we'll see Groval there. We should go down to the beach before we go back to the guild. So let's go down to the beach. The beach is where we'll go. Let's go down to the beach. The beach is where I know I can see Grovial show. Nope, don't rhyme, it doesn't work. Doesn't work! All right, let's keep going. Is this the way we go? No, this isn't the way we go to the beach. It's Marowak's little training cavern. We're not trying to get, we're not trying to get our grind on right now. We're trying to get our grow vile on right now. You know, thumbs down right away. Okay. Whoa. Chapter 18, Lapras. I can dig it. Oh, I can dig it. Maybe there's not 20 chapters. Something tells me there's more than that. This is how we're going to cross the sea. I was hoping to see grow vile here. No, no, he's not here after all. Ah, oh, what? Speaking of not being here. The Krabby aren't here either. They always come out here in the evening to blow bubbles. I love seeing their bubbles go floating away in the evening sky. Well, that's too bad. It's a letdown, but... Look, Shady. The sunset's beautiful like it always is. You know... It was my dream to solve the secret of my relic fragment, but I would have never guessed that the relic fragment was connected to the hidden land. That reminds me. It was here, wasn't it? Where Coughing and his sidekick stole my relic fragment? Yes, it was. Sorry, kiddo, we'll take that. Ah! Oh, ho, ho, not gonna make a move to get that back. What the matter, too scared? I didn't expect that you'd be such a big coward. Come on, let's get out of here. I'm gonna change his voice to that. See you around, chicken. <laughs> I remember. I was too scared to get it back. You gave me courage then, Shady. You know, that was how we really started as a team. Getting back this relic fragment was Team Shady Poke's first adventure. And now we're using the same relic fragment so we can go to the hidden land. If you think about it, it's kind of strange. That's true. My adventure with Trevor and searching for the hidden land, the relic fragment was the start of both. This is beautiful sunset. This is beautiful sunset. It will be the lo it will be lost if the planet's paralysis can't be stopped. We have to stop that. We can't waste any time finding the hidden land. We have to do good tomorrow, Shady. That's right, we have to try hard. I must fulfill the mission that I had before losing my memory. My mission with Grovile, a mission to help the Pokemon of this world and those of the future. What? Hey, Shady, that, what is that? It's a Lapras! I love me some Lapras, to be honest. I really love me some Lapras, to be honest. Mm. Huh? What could it be? It looks like it's swimming across the sunset. I think it's a Pokemon. Well, that's a little strange. The sun's almost gone. We should go back to the guild soon. Okay, Tom. Thanks, Tom. No problem, Tom. Oh, here we go. Cha ha ha. The Krabby weren't around for a good reason. They ran off, scared of us. I already forgot his dumpy voice. <laughs> but Chief, the old diamond twerkle wasn't lying to us after all. <laughs> that chunk we stole back then. I didn't know it was going to be something that valuable. So what? We'll get that relic fragment from them one way or the other. That means the hidden land is going to be explored by none other than us, Team Skull. Cha ha ha. It's very important that we see them all laugh. It's very, very important. Time to munch and crunch and chew it all down. Don't keep going, Shady. They don't like to hear that sound. 
Ah! I'm in such a frisky mood right now. Not like frisky. Okay, let's just let's just go on. I'm feeling riled. I'm sleeping. Lapras! Look at her surf. Maybe him. I don't know. I don't want to assume. But I like my Lapras to be... No, I like... <gasps> Wiggly, tough, and Lapras chilling by the sea. K-I-S. Lapras, long time no see. It's been way too long, Wiggly, tough. You look well. Is Jetter doing well, too? Yes, very well. I'm glad to hear that. I always meant to thank you. I deeply appreciate the promise you made and upheld for all this time. No problem, no big deal, but today I'm here to see you about that promise. We find ourselves in a situation where we can't afford to uphold that promise. I suspect that you know why. So please tell me about that strange pattern we once saw. Dot, dot, dot. I'm never going to be able to hold that Lapras voice, that's for sure. I made it way too complex. Up and out on, it's morning! Ah, uh, good morning, Shady. I'm still hay, and I sleep on hay, so that means I'm extra hay. Hey! So much text right now, which is, I mean, what this game is about. Everyone loves the story, so it makes perfect sense. <clears throat> and so, you're all quite well aware. Guildmaster's not yet returned from his errand. However, I intend to set off for Brian Cave is scheduled. Huh? Hey, hey, where'd Guildmaster go anyway? Um, I wouldn't know that. Is it going to be okay without the Guildmaster? No problem, there's no need for your concern at all. Guildmaster must have decided that we can manage on our own without him for the time being. That's why he hasn't come home yet furthermore. In the place of our absent Guildmaster, you have me to lead you. Uh, why isn't anyone saying anything? It, it can't be. Do you all think I'm not up to the task? Everyone out with it. Am I perhaps, perhaps inadequate, worthless to you? Uh, nope. I wouldn't say that, but darling. When Guildmaster isn't here, it just feels less safe. Hey, hey, you know the Guildmaster, he's hard to figure out, but hey, hey, hey. He really comes through when things get rough. But the Guildmaster isn't with us right now, so we gotta take charge and do as he wanted. That's right. I'm sure that we can get the job done on our own. Let's go do it. On our own. You're right! We can't count on the Guildmaster for everything. Oh yes, that's the spirit. Let's do our best. Everyone's voice is going to change all the time. The Guildmaster is absent, so there's only one among us who can lead. And that's you, Chatot. Uh, huh? Who, who, me? Of course. You said so earlier. You said that we'll be fine because you're here to lead us. Lead the way. Show us, Chatot. Hey, hey, that's right! Show us, Chatot! Yep, yep, I'm counting on you. Uh. Well, everyone, you can always count on me when th things are bad. What's the matter, Chatsod? You you sound the call of duty already. I know, I know. Uh, commencing now, we shall depart on a guild exploration of Brine Cave. Everyone, let us excel together. And so it begins. We go to Brine Cave. Squirtle. Oh, it's right. Oh, it just we're we're right next to it, I guess. Now listen, everyone. This is the entrance to Brian Cave. Your objective is to reach the deepest part of this dungeon, like every other dungeon. That is where we will, where one will find the so same odd pattern inscribed on the relic fragment that Trevor has. However, it is there where an extremely vicious Pokemon lurks. Well, extremely vicious? That, that sounds scary. Hey, hey, Chatot. What is it? Yesterday, Guildmaster said something about that vicious Pokemon. But Chatot, you seem to know just as much about this dungeon. Hey, hey. Chatot, is it possible that you've been here before? That's right. I have come here before. I explored here a long time ago with the Guildmaster. It was deep in this cave that we saw the peculiar pattern. It was then, however, those tough Pokemon appeared. <laughs> so, what were they like? Tough, you say? Uh, I don't remember at all. Huh? You don't remember? Yes, but I'm a lo I'm loath to admit it. They attacked with no warning out of nowhere. I was knocked out before I could do a thing. When I came to, the Guildmaster was tending to my wounds, but I had no memory of events before that, so I couldn't tell you what the attackers were like. Huh? <sighs> That gives us nothing to go on. So we don't know the kind of enemy we're facing. We'll have to make our way slowly. Wait a second. Hey, Chatsot. At first you said there was one vicious Pokemon, but then you said they attacked you. There's more than one? Uh, no, it was just one. There's one extremely vicious Pokemon, but it wasn't alone. When they attacked. Oh, I remember now. They attacked all at once. I recall getting slammed with water like a tidal wave. Like a tidal wave? That could mean water type moves. We're a ground type. We don't like water at all. I hope we don't have to fight enemies like that. It would be awfully dangerous to make a go of it alone. That's right. 
We should make several groups to explore the cave. We'll do that, sir, yup, yup. Hey, hey, we should form teams that don't bunch up types. You two, remember what the Guildmaster said yesterday. The two members from Team Shady Pokes must be in my group. Therefore, you two shall accompany me Accompany me when exploring this cave, understood? I trust you won't hold me up too much. Oh, you must not expect me to do everything for you. It's up to you to look after yourselves. Er, er, understood. All right, everyone. We're off to conquer Brine Cave. Let's give it our all. Er, Here we go. Off to conquer Brine Cave. Don't even get to use that Kangaskhan statue. <laughs> Chief, looks like those gloats from the gills are already inside. <laughs> well, should we follow them? Chaha, sounds good. We'll track them, but let's keep out of sight. When the right time comes along somewhere in the cave, that's when we'll grab Wimpy Trevor's relic fragment. Then we'll hightail it out to the deepest part of the cave. We'll grab all the glory of solving this mystery. Hey, <laughs> brilliant, Chief. Your plans are perfect. Chaha, -ha, naturally. Anyway, it will be us, Team Skull. We'll be the ones to go into the hidden land. <laughs> Woo hoo hoo. Chaha. Straight up Chaha all day, every day. That is what I say now today. All right, we got Chata, level 36. So a lot weaker. Wow, it's so silent. Is it actually silent or did I lose my volume? I definitely lost my volume. There we go. That's bumping. Oh my gosh. This music is crazy. All right, so we do have some gummies that we can eat. That's a blue gummy though. I'm gonna save that because I remember someone telling me to save a blue gummy. Oh, we got a Krabby. Well, we can't really hit him for much. So we're gonna go for Tackle. Uh, he's gonna go for oh good he's okay he's pretty weak he's a pretty weak pokemon which is great uh i would like to get to the end of this cave or at least i'd like to get 10 floors deep before ending this episode that's kind of my goal kind of my goal is wait wait hold on hold on i see something down here oh it's just poke dollars okay not a big deal not a big deal just some cash just some dollars i mean i don't want i don't want them to go wasted go to go to waste i should say so uh, i'm gonna grab them and let's hope that, ah, that's a dead end. Mmm, that makes me so mad. There goes my gum. Yes, I want to switch places with my teammate. Oh, chat out warped. Oh me, oh my. Oh me, oh my, please. Another dead end. Oh boy, here we go. This is going to be a fun one. I can already tell you this is going to be a fun one. This is going to be great. There's going to be so much fun happening in this episode. You're not even going to be able to handle it. You're going to be like, shoot, where are the... Nope, 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 nope. We're just going north. Just go north, man. They'll follow you. There's going to be so much fun happening in this episode. Oh, gosh. Seal used Aqua Jet. Calm down. We're going to use Bite. Does Bite do less than Tackle? It does do less than Tackle. All right. Good to know. So Trevor's kind of in a pretty bad spot. I uh, kind of wish we had an Electric-type Pokemon. Oh, gosh. Chatsot, can you take him out? Chatsot, don't miss. Chatsot, you missed all three times. Thank you. Thank you, chat. Just burn a Gastrodon. That's fine. Another, and it's a seal. Ooh, this seal has extra defenses. This seal's taking, taking less damage than everyone. Uh, the other seal. That's because it had a deluxe box. Um, we're going to let Gastrodon sleep. We can't even use our water type moves while Gastrodons are around because they have that storm drain ability. Oh, gosh. You're going to resist that. Fury attack. Did 55, 44 damage. Ooh, ooh. What new move? Iron defense. Eh. And we're going to forget that. Yes. We're going to forget Iron Defense. Uh, as much as it pains me to forget it. It pains me, but we're not going to go east. I feel like east is a trap, so we're going to go west. West is never a trap. There's money in the floor. That's never a trap. Ooh, and a pink gummy. And a green gummy. We got mad gummies to munch on. They call me a gummy bear. If I was an Ursaring, that is. I wish I was an Ursaring. It'd be amazing. Oh my gosh, I was an Ursaring instead of a Squirtle? Come on. You're really gonna fall asleep. No! Get off. Get off the stairs right now. Thank you, Trevor. Trevor's a monster. Just body that thing with Lava Plume. Oh my goodness. Yes, Arceus, bless you. Arceus, bless you. All right, let's go, let's go south. I feel like south is wrong. Oh no, a pink gummy, that's always right. All right, chat's out. You can take care of that thing. Brian, hello. I know it's Brian Cave and everything, but mirror move is broken. Oh my gosh, it straight up reflected it and took no damage. Mirror move is broken in this game. I love it. All right, so unfortunately, a food item went bad. Great, Grimer. Thank you so much, Grimer, for doing that. I really do appreciate it. Trevor, that would have been no, Trevor, that would have been great. That would have been great 
had it connected. Oh my gosh, is this what rain, this is what rain looks like in the game? This is nuts. And the stairs are right there. We could have just went north and been fine. We could have just went north. Oh yes, Arceus, bless you. Gotta love it when the stairs. Arceus, hold on. I know we have some people to fight in here, but that's fine. Ice shard is not a big deal. We have a Pelipper over here. Oh my goodness. There we go. Chat's out, take him out. Chat's out, take him out. Chat's out, do not faint. I'm gonna water pulse this thing. Ooh, look at that! Look at that KO. Let's grab these items really quick. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna convert. Let me, let me, let Shady. Let's see. Uh, we're gonna give Shady the Joy Ribbon. Give to Shady. Let's do that. Let's do that. Eighth floor galore right here. Oh, Gastro. Oh, Gastrodon going for that mud sport. Oh, Gastrodon. That was a pro play right there. Get that mud sport off. So Trevor doesn't feel inclined. Actually, mud sport uh, weakens water uh, electric type moves. Never mind. Never mind. Another dead end, though. Of course, the first way we go is always a dead end now. That's just the way our world is going to work for a little while. Water pulse. This. Oh, gosh. You're still alive. Good. Set him on fire. I set fire to the Pelipper, watch him burn. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't be singing when my voice doesn't even work speaking wise. Okay. No, no, you guys are not supposed to separate. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, what's happening? All right, we gotta use gummies. Uh, we have a we have a pink gummy. Let's eat that. My special attack went up by one? That's broken. Take that again. Aw, oh, man. Oh gosh, Dugong and I'm all alone. Water pulse? Okay, that's great. The confusion is really nice. Okay, landing another water pulse would be really nice as well. Landing at least one water pulse. Thank you. I just saw Dugong use sheer cold. Chat's out was defeated and Chat's out was revived. Oh my gosh. I have to keep an eye on their health while they battle over there. All right, Chatsot, you're not fainting again. Chatsot, Chatsot, you're not fainting again. Do I have any orange berries? I do. Eat this, Chatsot. No, stop running away from the, from the, you have to fight him. Oh my gosh, Chatsot. Are you serious, Chatsot? Chatsot, I need, Trevor, you need to go over there and help him. And I can't find the stairs for the life of me. I, I just wasted I just wasted so many items. Oh my gosh. What if Chatsot eats this? Chatsot. Chatsot, attack! Chatsot! That's it, pure seed. Chatsot, eat that. Go to the stairway. And you still have to fight! Oh gosh, I'm gonna eat one too. I was hoping I could do that. And, oh man. You have max attack and you can't hit. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. We just barely make it out of there. Oh, now Chatsot uses Roost. Okay. We're gonna let everyone recover their HP first. And now we're gonna go downstairs. That was so dumb. We wasted a Reviver Seed, Orin Berries, we could have used a pure seed from the start. Oh my goodness. Oh my sweet baby Lanta. Ooh, Dugong. No, gong, 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 gong. I like when you get confused right away. That is great. That is good stuff. Ooh, have we reached? Ah, we have reached. We've gone pretty far down. Hey, chat's on. Are we nearing the place where you saw that pattern? We're nearing there. Nearly there, we don't have far to go. However, as I've told you before, every step also takes us closer to those vicious Pokemon. Yes, and we'll have to stay careful and keep our eyes open. Anyway, we don't have far to go now, Shady. Let's keep it up. Ow! Oh, excuse me. Hey! Whoa, long time, weakling, long little. You're that nice team, eh? This is it, the relic fragment. That's... Ha ha ha, I'll take this. Hey! 
Whoa, this is the second time you're getting milked for this. You don't learn very well, that's for sure. Well, wait, please. I'm afraid I'm not following what's going on here. Why are you even here? We haven't seen any of you from Team Skull since you suddenly disappeared during the expiration. I fretted for your well-being. Worried, huh? Cha ha ha. Your guilt's full of gullible nincompoops just waiting to be fleeced. Oh ho ho. Your demeanor and language seem to be much coarser now. Chatot, they were deceiving the guild all this time. They're a bad exploration team. Team Skull is a bunch of crooks. What? Is that true? Oh, what else? You'd have to be naive beyond belief to be fooled this long. Anyway, now that we got the relic fragment, now we just gotta get to the hidden land. Eat your heart out, nitwits. Cha ha ha. Oh, and we're just, all right, just walk past us. That's fine. Steal from us and we're not gonna do anything. Squawk! Squawk! Those stinking scoundrels! Play me for a fool, will they? Squawk! They won't get away with this. I'll show them what it means to trifle with me! Hey, shout out, wait! Oh, snap, he's gone. Shouts out was furious. I hope he'll be okay. After all, though, there are those vicious Pokemon he'd warned us about lurking ahead. Not just that. We still need to recover my relic fragment from Skuntank. We should hurry, too. Shoot, man. I would like to save my adventure. That's insane. That was actually insane what just happened. We're going to wrap today's episode up. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please show some shady love to that thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. We'll be back again with another episode on Monday for Explorers of the Sky. Have yourselves a good day. But above all else, keep it shady.